Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil amri al-musalin wa ala ahli wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning I bid to everyone attending today's program. I am Anis Mithya Surjain, your MC for this session. First, I would like to thank everyone for allocating your time in your busy schedules to attend this morning's event. Welcome to Fine Art Webinar 1.0 where today we will learn inspiring tips and techniques for watercolor. Before that, let us start our program today by imbibing some sense of gratitude towards the Almighty within us. Therefore, I would like to invite Brother Ali Najwan to recite the du'a. Please welcome. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 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 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmin. Allahumma iftaha alayna hikmataka wa insyur alayna min huzaini rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Rabbana isyurah lana sudurana wa yasir lana umurana wa ahlul a'latan min arah sinatina yafqa wa akwalana. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Thank you Brother Ali for leading the beautiful du'a just now. All right, before I continue, uh, any questions during the sh sharing session may be asked through the chat box where the speaker will attend during the talk. So, Allah. Now, allow me to take the honor to introduce our lovely speaker for today. For your information, our speaker here has an outstanding background study. She did her O levels in Indonesia, a bachelor degree of science in architecture, part one at International Islamic University, Malaysia. Now, she is the founder and the artist behind Tu Kuntum Hijab. Her passion in watercolor made her explore more on the techniques and styles of watercolor. And recently this year, she has been actively sharing her love of watercolor through Facebook Lives, teaching skills and how to use watercolor leisurely. And in today's session, she will be teaching us her amazing skills on watercolor as well. So with that, Without wasting any time, I welcome my, our speaker, Mrs. Farah Liana Binti Ahmad Latifi. The screen is yours. Uh, Mrs. Farah, are you there? Uh, Mrs. Farah, I'm sorry we can't hear you. Hello? Boleh dengar suara saya tak? Boleh dengar 
Uh, alright, okay now. Oh, sorry. Boleh tak uh, fokuskan dekat punya video? Okay, nampak eh. Sorry eh. Tadi tak dengar langsung eh? Okay, uh, uh, start over eh. Start over. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum everyone. Hope you had your breakfast and ready to start your painting journey. So today, uh, for this tutorial, I'll be... Um, I'll be showing you some tips and techniques in watercolor. And this tutorial will be in four parts. The, fir the first part will be uh, some introduction. What are the materials that I, I will be using? And the second part would be, um, I'll show you how to do this um, fluffy clouds. And the third part, I'll show you how to do some trees, um, some different types of trees. And the fourth part, um, uh, we'll do some exercise. So. I'm hoping that uh, after you learn all, this, uh, all, all the techniques, you should be able to do something like this. This will be our, um, our simple exercise and, or, and also can, can do like this, but this one is too big. So we'll just do a simple practice like this at the end of this uh, tutorial, okay? So uh, first, before we begin, uh, we'll do some upper, uh, I'll show you the materials first. Lah. So I will be using this, um, Winsor and Newton watercolor. Um, this one is in tubes. Uh, you can you can choose you can use any kind of watercolor you want. Uh, Pastu and also whether like this one or in uh, or in solids one solid ones like this is up to you. But usually I prefer for the vibrant colors. Usually tubes are the best one for vibrant colors. And then uh, for the brushes. For the brushes, uh, I'll be using um, these round brushes. Uh, this one I got from, um, from the, the art store and also the bookstore as well. You can buy it from Shopee as well. And then um, for the paper, I'll use this um, watercolor painting paper. Um, this is quite uh, budget friendly as well. Uh, Yang cold press cellulose acid free, but if you can get a cotton one, it's also uh, better than this one lah. But cellulose pun okay dah. 200 jazam, prefer, preferably 200 because 200, uh, the paper will be crumpled if, uh, if water is applied on it. So, and then um, other important thing is the uh, glass of water jar. Hmm. a jar of water and also uh, I prefer to use two because one is for the dirty water the other one is for clean water okay so and you need a kitchen kitchen towel as well or if you don't have a kitchen towel you can use um, tissue tissue as well the first two plaggy okay so uh, this okay these are the colors that I will be used for this uh, practice um, some warm tones and also some cool tones here. Okay, before we begin um, the technique, so at, before we begin the painting, so will will you will do some warm up? Uh, I think some of you might already know these techniques, but I think I should just refresh some of your memories, and also some of you might be a new one, new in beginners in painting. So. So there are two techniques that, we, uh, that I will use for this uh, practice, uh, wet on wet and also wet on dry. So the wet on wet, first take one of your brush, any brush would do, I, I take this one, this one is the big one, and then wet your brushes first. Uh, you can use any uh, any watercolor paper yang dah pakai pun tak apa, just, uh, just this, this is for practice only. So first, wet your brush. And then just put some um, wet your surface paper ni area you want to paint. Sampai nampak that glossy sheen of water tu. So this is how you do the wet on wet. Let me know if I'm going too fast, yeah. <laughs> okay, ni uh, just kita just like just to um apa? Flexi flexible can your hand do so basat you can see the uh, water surface ni dah ada air semua and then take any any um any upper paint you prefer contoh ni I'll take this blue one and then just put it you can see there this is wet on wet you can see how the color bleeds onto the paper this is what we call wet on wet 
Now before we take the the any down lupa basahkan brush and then you can just dip on it. Oh I forgot to mention you about this palette. Um if you use if you're using uh, the watercolor tubes if you're using tubes like this tubes like uh, this is watch. Uh if you're using tubes uh, tubes like this uh, you can buy this kind of palette and then just dip the paint onto each of the compartment and then you can just close it and save it. Uh, save apa, boleh simpan lah. So, um, senang tak perlu dah nak buka balik tube ni and then put on a, diff, uh, on a palette yang besar tu kan. So, yang ni senang tak perlu cuci pun and then you can just simpan it for uh, for future use. So, this should be easy lah. Ni murah je dekat Shopee ada. Okay, uh, so continue with this uh, practice. Okay, ini wet on wet kan. So, maybe you can also try juga yang ada, ada yang dah siap dengan apa, watercolor paper apa semua. And then for this wet on dry, for wet on dry, first basahkan your brush brush tu and then take some paint. Boleh buat dekat sini juga. Macam I make paint sikit and then you can just uh, paint on it. This is dry without any water and then you can just paint. So the different is, uh, the different is the color is a, a, a bit more, the lines are much more, much more clearer and more crisp. You can see the edges there. But also you can also take some water and then you can just, um, really like, what can by get a gradient skit. Also can. So this is just a simple practice. Uh, before we begin uh, paintings, but we'll be using both of these quite often in this uh, tutorial. Okay. Also, Yanipo, you can just uh, mix some colors and then you can have the other colors as well. So before we begin, biasanya I'll do some, um, before I usually start painting, I will do some practice um, main main dengan, apa, dengan brush strokes supaya kita dapat rasa dia punya Apa supaya kita ingat balik tangan kita macam mana nak paint macam tu lah. Itu, itu untuk practice before we start. Okay. Okay, now we're done with this part. So uh, I hope korang pun tengah buat juga sekarang. So the next part is we'll just proceed to do some um, cloud painting. So these are, these are some of the cloud uh, cloud painting that will be used. I uh, will I will show you later. Okay. okay. Prepare an A4 paper like this. This is A4 paper. And then, I dah buat terus sebab senang nak save masa. Uh, use your masking tape. Masking tape too. And then, buat macam ada there's four spaces. Okay, mula ni. Okay. <laughs> buat jadi macam ada empat kotak. So, ada banyak tempat lah. Okay. So, I, I prefer to do it like this so that I have my uh apa other that are four frames that I can work on so they tak ganggu the other spaces especially when you do uh clouds painting there are usually water involved so kita tak nak this much over to the other areas so I prefer to do it like this but it's up to you but if you don't have any masking tape with you you can just um work sendiri in one what nampak ada di apa satu tempat satu tempat je lah it's okay boleh je tak tanpa masking tape okay okay so we'll start with <clears throat> with this um, first punya um, screen, first punya frame. Okay, for this one, I prefer to use uh, yang besar punya brush ni, tapi this is actually quite small. I prefer the bigger uh, square brush, but unfortunately, I don't have one with me. If you have one, then that is good. So, wet your brush dulu. Uh, basahkan brush with the clean water, don't use the muddy, uh, the dirty water. With the clean water. So now we're going to show you how to do this cloth. Uh, yang macam ni. Kita buat yang ni lah. This is ni. Prepare. Okay. First prepare your tissue paper. Uh, or towel. Jenis siapkan satu macam ni. We're going to do to do some tissue blot painting. Prepare satu macam ni kat tepi. Jangan lupa. And then. Uh, wet your brush. <coughs> And then just wet the surface that you're going to paint. Okay. Nampak semua area evenly and generously um, spread. Okay. Jangan sampai dia uh, 
apa kering sangat pula. Okay. Now I usually take uh, this. This is around like talo blue, uh, blue lake color. This is blue lake. And then bila nak ambil color tu, I will wet my brush first and then I just take it up. Okay, and then you just spread over evenly macam ni. As it get lower, it should be much more lighter than the upper part. Macam langit kan? Upper part biasa lagi gelap daripada bawah. You can make it more terang lagi. Okay, you have this. Um, nak kerangkan lagi bagi atas dia boleh. And then, uh, ambil your, your tissue paper ni. And then you just crumple it a bit and crumple kind of bit and then you just tap your tissue on top of it. So you have that nice um, fluffy clouds, like a wisp of cloud. Okay, and then you just put it on top of it. So when you put it on top of it, you don't that color on top of it. Okay, you have a part of like this. This is actually very easy. Even your kids kalau ada yang budak-budak kan, macam jom saya boleh buat macam ni juga. It's very easy. Okay. Uh, boleh nampak kan, tapi dia ada shiny sikit. Okay, so macam tu. Nanti tunggu bagi. Dah. Then it's done. It's just a few seconds siap. Okay, the next one. So we'll proceed the next one sambil, sambil tunggu ni kering, kita buat the next one pula. Okay, the next one kita buat lebih kurang sama teknik macam ni, sama je but kita buat macam there's a gradient of colour. As usual, uh, wet your brush and and paint up and wet your paper. Okay, wet your paper and then uh, for this one, we will use two colors. Uh, yang color macam langit and also kita ambil, um, start di atas dulu, kita ambil warna biru ni. This is blue lake. And then just paint on top of it. Macam tu. Uh, and then bersih, apa, wash your brush. Double wash it with the the tea and the clean water. The the two jars can tadi, and then you take some of these orange, some of the yellow, some orange, some yellow, and then just color kat bawah. Ni pun apa ada madu sikit. So if if your brush is not clean enough, so you get that sort of a muddy, murky color. It is not um, visible to me lah. So tak apa, kita just proceed je. This one, kalau buat teknik macam ni, you have to be fast actually. Kalau tak nanti that, apa? The color dah kering. <laughs> Lah, that's it. Dah start clean sikit tapi kita buat cepat-cepat and then just dab some just dab some what some color uh, some tissue paper sorry just dab situ and then you get macam kat bawah, macam kat bawah dia um, langit eh, kat, kat bawah dia macam sunset dekat atas dia nampak macam um, ada langit biru. Okay. Yalah. So you can choose either one. Uh, nak pakai macam simple one macam biru saja, Macam yang ini langit biru. Ataupun you can mix um, other colours as well. As usual kalau nak buat ni memang kena cepat. Sebab if not the color, um, the paint jadi kering cepat sangat and then you won't have the time to, you won't get the chance to dab your tissue paper and then 
it end up dia tak dapat that fluffy clouds tu. Okay. That is quite easy. Uh, sebab just senang je just uh, dab beberapa colour and then just block with tissue paper. Okay, the next techniques is also one of my favourite. Kejap. I tarik. Tarik sana sikit. I tarik sini sikit so that you can see this one. Okay. So in this one, uh, usually I usually like to do this one. Uh, as usual, paper, tissue paper yang bersih sikit sebab ini dah kotor. Dah tak cantik. Take another tissue paper. Okay. So for this one, cuci your brush bersih-bersih. And then, um, wet your paper. Make sure it is evenly spread. Okay. So, um, take another uh, another brush like this one, preferably much more sophisticated, and then um. Ambil color that you prefer. I just use this blue, or even you can mix the color if you want. This is cobalt blue. Banyak sikit color dia. No, banyak pun tak apa. Okay. And then just like. Uh, bayangkan where do you want to put your, your, your awan. Yes, buat macam ni. And then you can see macam dah ada dah nampak ada shape of awan tu. You just agak-agak je where you want to make that cloud appear. Just leave it like that. And then ya je. You can even macam kalau if you want to um, apa? You can, you can apa boleh buat boleh taruh pakai tissue paper juga if you want to make like ada fluffy fluffy lagi nampak ada wisp tu if you just let it be pun tak apa so you have that nice look macam ada 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 that strain macam tu kan So just biar je macam tu. And you're done. This one yang macam cepat gila. Okay, the next one is almost similar but it's actually a reverse one. A reverse type. Clean your brush. And then just wet the area that you want to do the clouds, okay? So contohnya, I imagine there will be a fluffy white cloud over here. And then I'll just like Paint it. When can I declare the cloud to and also some over here? Okay, imagine Shanto and then wet your brush. Any so kilo kilo ni buat macam technique wet on dry and then I just take some brush and then I just paint it. So once they reach dekat bagian air tu, dia macam macam dia bleeds to the air. This is another another techniques to do lah. Yeah, 
Okay. You have a different type of techniques. Macam mana, uh, any any type is okay. Tak kisah mana-mana. Usually I like to do this this one sebab dia is quite easy. And then this one you can even um, that more, more, pay, apa, more tissue paper. So that ada lagi sikit. In fact, uh, clouds too. So I can just let it be one that far. So if you see something like this, nampak tak macam ada edges macam tu. Kalau ada macam, nampak macam ada titisan air tu. Tapi ni sebab because this is too much water, uh, ada banyak dekat situ. So kalau nak uh, kalau nak repair that mistake dah susah dah. Tapi usually before kita dah nampak ada air tu, we should dab some, water, dab some tissue paper supaya dia tak terlalu basah sangat. Or else dia nampak macam ada uh, macam lecak macam tu lah. Okay, so now we're done. Yang bagian sini pun macam dah kering. So we can open this. The kering sikit. After dah kering, baru. So that's why I prefer to use um apa apa yang 300 GSM paper. Kalau tak, kalau pakai yang tipis, uh, the paper will crumple and then dia punya effect tu tak menjadi and then sebab dia terlalu tipis sangat paper tu. So so the way you open your masking tape, make make sure it is so you nampak tak kering lagi. So make sure it is like 45 degrees macam ni and then just uh, rip off it slowly. Oh, I think it's just one first. It is a very easy exercise. Um, you can work with your kids as well if you have kids. So it's a good practice to do some upper, some cloud study as well. Much like if you saw, uh, if you see some beautiful skies, just take a picture and then you can just try it at home. Jadi kalau uh, macam di daftar paper tu, masking tape kalau nak pakai, it is better for you to bila bila nak pakai tu you tampal somewhere else first. So that the gum tu tak terlalu uh, banyak sangat. Kalau tak nanti paper tu akan jadi rosak. So you have this type of skies. Either you can do some blotting uh, tissue paper macam ni. And then what gradient of sky, ini gradient pun tak terlalu cantik sangat. You can make it more better than this one. And then um, sky macam ni pun boleh. This is actually quite easy juga. And then also macam ni. Uh, so but it is, um, but, but to me per, uh, personally, I would prefer to do it like this or like this. Okay, uh, so maybe you can try at home. Senang je. Okay, the next one kita akan buat... Um, some club, some upper, some tree painting. So I did some paint, uh, upper tree studies. So my advice in, is when you paint some trees, it is better to, for you to do, to find some reference for you to paint bef before you paint, because if you just do it blindly, you will get funny looking trees, nampak macam broccoli lah. Uh, this is from my experience lah. <laughs> So macam you can just uh, take a look outside your window, tengok pokok apa yang ada kat luar or you can just google them or see on uh, search on Pinterest. So these are some of the trees that will, uh, yang contoh yang ada yang macam ni <coughs> or just some like this. Like this you can also use like, like an autumn color. Uh, so bila once you already know how to paint some trees, you can easily do some bushes as well. Okay, so I'll just start when... Um, Okay, it is better for you to um, rough it, sketch it, 
before you uh, paint your trees. But kalau, if you just macam paint saja, you won't know how, how to put the location of the trees or the branches. But if you already use upper uh, paint it often dah selalu lukis so you already have the imagination uh, macam mana nak lukis kan so but if you don't if you're a beginner even I myself I would just start with a, a rough pencil sketch first before I start painting them and then <clears throat> okay for this one I use uh, the, the colors that I will usually use because my style is mostly more to warm tones color, but some artists or some people like to do some of the cool tone color. So mine, I will prefer, uh, I will usually use this type of color, some sap green mix, sap green mix with some yellow ochre. And then for to make it much more darker, I will mix this sap green with some of the raw umber or burnt umber. So if you prefer, if you prefer some darker shades or some blue tones, you can mix it, uh, some of these blue tones to your green uh, color. Okay. So first, uh, I'll show you how I mix the greens first, so that you get the idea. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'll take wet your brush and then bagi basakan sikit. This is sap green. I'll also use the uh the this is green and lighter color okay we nampakkan basahkan sikit sebab dia cair sangat so ini macam kalau cair i will mix any yellow ochre tadi i'll take some yellow ochre and then mix it up so you have that nice um cool uh, cool tone warm tone um light color macam ni okay So macam kalau nak terak, nak gelapkan lagi, just take some of these uh, sap green and then mix some of it with some amber. You can uh, either take raw amber or burnt amber. It's either two. Dia macam kalau coklat gelap. So you have that, this tone. Kalau nak mixkan sikit dengan yellow ochre pun boleh. You have that jump too. Okay, this is how I mix my greens. So first, uh, we'll do this type of tree. Well, in any kita buat uh, more to green and then this one will make it more autumnish look. So, um, okay, first before you start, um, ni kita buat, I usually do it by layers. So the first layer, I will make it more like a um, light color. Okay, first buat macam ambil yang your brush ni and then just like tap it. Ni yang light color ya. I think dia terlalu hijau tu tak cantik sangat tu. It's like. Uh, bila colour tu, make it tangan tu macam a bit like wiggle-wiggle. Jangan terlalu perfect sangat. Just macam tu je. Kita cukup syat. Tambahkan sikit. Okay. Jadi kalau macam malas nak tunggu, I just straight forward macam ni. Okay, uh, kalau macam, kalau besar macam ni, I would prefer to, to do macam ikut level lah. Kita start dari atas. Up to you, you can start from below but I, I don't know, I like to start from above. Lepas tu, and then bila dah buat area sini, just uh, mix dengan colour gelap pula and then just like slightly uh, that dekat bagian bawah yang where you imagine there would be um, shadows. Okay. Mix sekarang lagi colour sebab this is sikit sangat. So nanti dia akan bagi dia clean sekejap. Okay, macam tu. And then uh, next one is bagian bawah pula. Biasa bawah dia macam gelap sikit kan. Macam ni colour sikit. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, just color it all. If your brush is already curling, just add some water, but not too much. If it's too much, you can just dab some of it on the um, you can banyak kan dab a bit some uh, on the uh, kitchen towel or tissue paper. Kain bulu pun boleh juga kalau ada kain bulu macam nak save the environment. You don't want to use tissue paper kan? Just use some kain bulu. I will usually use kain bulu je. Tapi if dia macam jangan yang berbulu sangat or else dia akan mix dengan brush. Okay, macam tu, tambahkan sikit color glob. This buat macam, uh, dia jangan color macam tu, just like, ni, just titik-titik macam ni. <laughs> just uh, macam ni je lah. <laughs> Topok-topok macam tu. Okay. So the next one is, okay. Ada bersalah pula pokok ni nak tunjuk. <laughs> okay, yang sini. So macam kalau if you if you already sketch, lepas tu macam you can go overlap pun tak apa. Tak perlu exactly follow the shape of your sketches tu. This, that is just to guide you on where to put your greens and your branches. So if you notice, I would sometimes mix the color. Tak perlu semua color sama je. So you have that variety of colors. So you have that dynamic lah in the artwork too. So add on skit skit yang that yellow ochre ni. Okay. Okay, so macam tu. Bagi dia kering lah. Kering. And then uh, kind of blob skit. Screens. So uh, bila dia dah kering, bagi dia tunggu dia kering sikit, nanti we'll add more, kalau nak biar saja pun boleh but I like to make it more details a bit so I will add some of the green, uh, darker greens to make it macam ada contrast je. So now it looks like one colour, macam terlalu flat. So later we'll add some colours. Okay, so for the branches, for the for the tree trunks, I'll use some of the darker tone. So this is too big. Oh wait. Um, use much smaller, a bit smaller version. This is like medium size, size eight. Um, can just wear it like this. can just sketch first area money and you want to do the branches. So once you have that, you, you know uh, macam mana the trees would be like. Okay. So uh, bagi dia kering, so usually I add some of the darker punya brown supaya dekat macam bayangkan kalau ada shadow matahari dekat sini kan so you do some of the um, macam ada you have that um, shadow darker area parts. Okay, so macam ni bagi kering sekejap sikit and then we'll add some of the 
uh, kalau if I put now, see if it works. So macam I'll take some dark, me dark green. This dark green, I'll mix the green with this umber and then just like add some, um, some details, small, small details. Macam there will be like darker, darker leaves. I'll use the smaller one lah, nampak macam ada 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 uh, daun yang gelap sikit. Okay, this is take some time lah. You can just like uh, add on some color gelap sikit kan. Color just, if you want to let it be also can. It's up to you. But usually I like to do some um, I like to make it more lively if there are contrast to your painting. Bayangkan macam this is like a daun-daun yang terkeluar kan. Ah, macam tu lah. Okay. So this is one is yang macam kali hijau. More like uh, like this one. So macam lebih kurang macam ni lah. Uh, tapi ini macam lagi besar sikit. So the next one we'll, we'll do like this one. This is more automatic look. This is like a birch tree. Um, We'll do on this part. This one. Okay. Hmm. Basically on your brush, make sure it is clean. Oops. Okay, we'll do this one. Okay, for this one, I'll use my just uh, this yellow ochre. I need a dummy study can just use that one and then just make it light yellow ochre. So buat pokok ni lambat sikit lah sebab you, you tak nak color-color macam tu je kan. So nanti nampak it doesn't look natural that way. So oh, sorry. So bila buat so when you do it try to make like a I, I think it's called stippling effect. So macam tangan tu tak terlalu you, you don't color macam ni. Buat macam potopok macam ni. Okay, faster. Okay, uh, color dah nak habis. So, I mix some of the, this is yellow ochre. Again, yellow ochre. And then I mix it up a bit. Mixkan sikit dengan hijau yang cair ni. So you can actually, um, kalau dah tahu buat yang macam different types of colors, trees, jenis kan, you can basically do any kind of trees you want. Once you know um, just how to do the one tree, you can do any kind of tree. So you just need to practice lah. Okay, I will imagine bagian sini macam cahaya dekat sini. So I will imagine bagian sini gelap sikit. Okay, uh, once you got that first layer done, and then we'll proceed to do some of the darker tones. Add more of the yellow ochre and a little bit a tip of this green. Just a tip. Okay, just a tip of it. And then just add some. Okay. Oops, can I put that one check? Okay. okay, just add some like that. Okay. 
So macam bila dah ada that um, color tu sekarang dia nak nampak basah lagi bila dah kering set and then you will see how it looks like lah in the end. Um, and then usually I will add some of this green, a tint of green. Tambahkan sikit green and then just sikit je, sikit je, just sedap. Want to make it macam ada, ada that uh, variety of colors too. Okay, and then just let it be, uh, very enchanted je, and then you're done. So we'll do the, um, the branch and the trunks. Okay, for this one, color dia, birch tree usually uh, much more lighter than this one. So usually I'll just mix some of the uh, yang burnt umber ni, so, or, or you just can take part of here, put some water, a considerable amount of water, chai, make it chai, and then just like color it. Cair tak apa. Just dip of the water. Okay. Then just color it. Okay. Silap ambil. This one. Okay. So you have um, dia nampak cair lagi kan? Kita buat dia punya ni. Imagine where you want to put your branches anywhere. Okay, bagi dia kering sikit. So dekat bagian dekat dekat biasa dekat sini macam a bit gelap sikit kan so you can add some of the brownish color. Okay, biar je. And then once it, uh, bila dia dah kering, nanti we'll add on some details of it. Okay, so the next one is macam, the next is we'll do some of the uh, low uh, low bushes. Macam low flower plant macam tu. Oh, and, this, and this one lah, this one dulu. So yang ni kalau kita buat macam ada pokok bunga yang that's green and then there will be some of the flowers and it will be good for macam you nak buat kalau you buat rumah and then dekat tepi tepi rumah there will be some flowers kan so this concept is almost similar to this one uh, I'll try to make it quickly oh nak go save last okay just do some light like uh, pastel uh, apa green like green color Okay. Kita macam tu and then mix some of the darker green. Cons uh, tadi dia sama je. Just macam letak-letak macam tu. Add some more of this. Oops. Terang sangat. Okay. Do some of the, remember to do your first layer lighter and then as you, uh, you build up the color, you make it from lighter to darker. So that's how you do it. So uh, macam jangan sampai dia, bila you want to do the mixing of colors to make sure it is not that uh, kering. Dia punya part ni jangan kering. So that you have that macam ada mixing of color blending tu. Bila dah nak kering tu baru we add some uh, macam like this one. You can add some details of to it. Okay. So uh, once this one is kita tambah sikit color gelap lagi. So sometimes I just make a situ, tambahkan sikit. Ini kali hijau, gelap. I need to it. Okay. Okay, just let it be macam tu. And then kita buat dia ni uh, bunches tu pun sama konsep dia. We take some of the ni. Dah tercampur dah. Okay, 
So this gambar ni, this painting actually I dah buat ada reference. So you just follow that reference and then you know where to put your branches, apa semua. So you you tak buat suka hati lah. Bila buat suka hati memang tak menjadi macam natural. And tak nampak macam tak cantik. So bila macam ni you know um, nature punya uh, yang nampak natural tu macam mana. You know the exact natural look of a flower, trees. So we add the curling sikit and then I usually add some color gloves sikit. Usually you know by one painting you need to think about the shadow and light as well. So if you don't think about that you end up having a a bland uh, painting without any dynamic to it. Without any character to it lah. Dia macam soulless lah bila painting without macam ada the shadow apa semua tu. Okay, so one thing, bagi yang ni kering sekejap, we work on this, uh, yang bagian batang tu dia dah start kering. So we can add some darker, dark color, yang ni color black sebenarnya. Bila ambil colour black, so um, jangan turun ke sini, so tambahkan sikit ni, ni kan bagi nampak macam ada, ada that, uh, apa, texture tu. See, this is macam birch tree tracks texture. So imagine cahaya dekat sini, so dia macam bagian sini gelap sikit. Okay. Do all of the areas. You can even darken these areas supaya nampak macam dia. Mana tadi? Tak kena. So you, you have that um, yang ini yang birch tree punya. You can even add some uh, details to this but you can leave it, leave it as it is you pun boleh. If you add more I would suggest add some of this yellow ochre sikit. So you have macam ada color uh, gelap shadow sikit. So, Okay, tambah-tambahkan sikit. Oh, mami ya Allah. <laughs> tambah-tambahkan sikit. Okay, uh, okay cukup kot. Tak apa-apa banyak lah. Sikit-sikit je. Tambah lagi sikit. Uh, macam tu dah cukup lah. Okay, yang ini yang macam nak start kering. Uh, uh, si, dah terkena. Ini dah nak start kering dah. Tapi um, nanti kita tambahkan sikit. Bagi ada, you can tambahkan sikit bagi nampak gelap sikit kat sini. You can add more detail juga bagi nampak extra gelap. Okay. Ini tapi tak kering lagi. So we'll continue yang this one. Ini pokok lain pula. Ini macam like ke um, pokok macam monstera tu biasa dekat luar rumah. But it's not monstera. Okay. From buat apa. But I just saw it yesterday and then just drew it. So yang ini you can take a light colour first. Light colour. Hmm, macam ni. Yang ini senang je. Just colour macam tu. It's actually quite easy lah. Ini I, I like to do this one actually sebab senang. Can be your stress relief juga. So bila macam buat ni je pain simple macam ni je. And then add some darker tones. So bila bila add some darker tone so dia macam make sure dia tak uh, tak straight okay. Make sure dia tak apa dia tak kering lagi so that you can add some 
निकाल लेना चाहिए Any synergy, just color equal what you have already um the case, and then any lambat sikit ko clean so you can just tambah. Okay, acha ones of uh color. Dia bagi ada nampak variety of colors so you don't have just like that one color only. Okay. Continue to this part. What mm, else here? Add some darker shades. Mm, okay. Can add more, add more detail and more, more shadow. Okay, yang bawah pula macam ni. So, bila first when you start painting, nampak macam eh, nampak blend saja kan. Tak apa, kita buat first layer je. Awal nampak macam tak cantiknya. Tak apa, sebab kita biasa buat in layers. Bila once we add on that uh, details of layers, sebab kita nampak dia punya kehidupan dia tu of that painting. So just don't give up. Jangan bila dah lukis and then you see uh, kenapa nampak tak cantik. Just proceed, buat je, sambung je sampai we get towards the end of it. Kalau rasa macam okay. Gonna perlu, you need a little bit of patience when you're painting actually. Okay, add some color. Let's keep. Oops, that's not. So, yes, ini kita ambil a bit of uh, color, a bit of yellow ochre. That's why you see uh, my favorite color is because but I usually like to do green. So my favorite would be this yellow ochre and all this green and this dark brown color. Oops, let's see. Then just color it. So you have that. Um, so bila dekat sampai kat bawah tu, uh, you should usually it's getting darker. So you can just add some um dark dark color. Mm, oh, lebih. Okay. Good, it's lepas. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it like a messy, messy color pun tak apa. Okay, macam tu. You can even add, uh, bila dah kering tu, you can even add some of the uh, fine lines macam yang dekat daun. So, you have that lines dekat daun tu kan. So, you can even add that one as well. So, once yang ni, yang ni dah kering. So, bila dah kering tu, well, can we add some... Um, some color merah ke for the flowers. Tapi itu senang je. Just add stippling effect. Some. Kalau ni macam merah sangat buat lekuk. And just sikit-sikit je. Just like ni 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 ni. You didn't have to lukis bentuk-bentuk bunga betul, betul-betul. Just like 
the detail je. You, you want to see that there's a, this is a flower punya pokok. Sikit je. Ni macam pokok bunga keretas lah. Okay. Kena pakai colour up. Okay. Uh, kalau nak lukis rumput, rumput pun lebih kurang sama. Actually you can use uh, the same colour as well macam yang ini. Okay, I will show you how to do rumput as well juga nanti lepas ni. Okay, so kalau buat bunga dah simple macam tu je and, you, and then you're done. Okay, so, so for the yang ni one bright, uh, the bushes tu pun you can just do uh, macam ni juga actually. It's the same one concept macam ni, just put it at the bushes there and then you're done. Okay, so kalau rumput, usually I do it like this. Um, colour sama juga, carikan sikit colour dia. Macam contohnya, we'll do macam ada rumput sikit kat sini kan. Ah, nampak. Okay, uh, ni kan bagian sini. Yeah, okay. Uh, I dah basahkan sikit. Contohnya, we want to put some rumput. Ni kan dah bagian uh, bawah ni. I just add some tarik-tarik macam tu je. Ni dah kalau nampak dari tepi lah. This tarik-tarik macam tu nampak tak? Kala-kala yang light pun boleh. Biasanya bila I buat, bila you buat tu, buat dekat bagian sini macam gelap sikit. Kan, you just tarik-tarik. Use your, yang macam ada tip sikit ni, you just tarik sikit. Hmm, you can even add some colour gelap sikit, nampak ke? Just tarik macam tu je, tu tunggu nanti dia kering sikit. And then you're done. Uh, kalau rumput dia tak perlu detail sangat, just simple tarik macam tu pun dah jadi dah. Okay, so uh, you can, kalau jadi macam lah, simple macam ni je lah. This is your trees. Ini, uh, ni tahulah korang just follow daripada sini je. So and then you uh, boleh proceed to do the next one. Okay, hopefully korang, uh, you all get the idea on how to do the uh, trees uh, and any plants juga. Sebab if you, if you dah tahu just one, dah tahu buat macam ni je. And then you get to do any kind of trees you want any type of trees you want. Even macam kalau yang macam, oh contoh ni yang macam ni pun sebenarnya senang. Uh, you just, you just, just, eh dah dapat kosong tak? Uh, yang macam tu actually is quite easy. Uh, contoh ni yang macam ni. Yang macam ni kan? It's actually quite easy. Um, just take your brush ni bersihkan. Kalau biasa dia colour gelap but just take any colour yang ada kat sini lah. Kan, yang ni just buat line macam tu and then just ni tak perlu lukis, tak perlu lukis dulu pun tak apa. I just like, ini simple sketch macam tu je. I just buat macam tu and then later you can add some details to it. You can just tambah some details. Ni macam Christmas tree lah. Okay, itu cara yang paling ni lah. Senang. Okay, and then you just add some ni kat bawah. Apa, uh, dia punya branches tu. Dia punya ni. Tree trunks. And then you're done. Itu simple, simple macam tu lah. It should be easy. Ni you can make it more detail lah. And then you can add more darker colour like I taught you just now. Macam bagi yang nampak ada kalau terang sikit kan. So nampak lively sikit. So itu salah satu cara. Okay. Dah sebelas lebih. So okay now you already know yang tadi. Jom. Tadi kita dah lukis uh, kita dah lukis clouds. Dah lukis pokok. So now we try to make it something like so I hope we should be able to do something like this. So kalau you, you can choose any type of rumah lah. Any, I just like to do like a upper cottage in a woods macam concepts lah. So you can any, you can also do like a campfire ke apa. So nanti lah after this. And then you can do some trees and then you can choose any kind of sky you want. Any I do the tip yang macam uh, tissue block. 
Oh, okay, for now we do a simple exercise like this one. For now we just do like this one, you need. Um, you can paint any type of clouds you want. You can choose any type. For this one, I chose yang macam ni. Uh, me kalau dia cair sikit lah, I just do a simple one. Ini yang cair, so you can choose any kind of, any kind of clouds. And then yang bagian um, pokok ni, you can paint any kind of pokok. Uh, you can try to do this exercise. And then bila dah siap tu, you can actually frame this and then you can actually do it as a postcard as well. So uh, let's start. I'll show you how to do it. This is quite small. Just do a, this is like an uh, upper half of A4. What, B4, B5 is it? Um, B and kecil je ni je. Just do it like this. And then use your masking tape. Where is my masking tape? Uh, use your masking tape. Okay, I put it sini supaya nampak dia punya, nampak dia, macam nak tunjuk Supaya korang boleh follow. Eh, macam ni? Macam ni. <laughs> Nampak tak? So, korang boleh follow. Tak ada lah. Macam ni lah. So, uh, masking tape ni, tak masking tape dulu. So, if you notice kan, kalau macam dekat paper, or the color paper, you have that two sides, right? So, kadang nak pakai sides yang mana? Usually, I I chose side yang kurang texture. But, some people, some prefer uh, yang ada texture banyak but I don't know, I don't really like the texture much. I like to make it more like a uh, macam dia uh, apa macam a bit smooth sikit but tapi cantik juga kalau pakai just the uh, yang ada texture. So I just change it to yang bagian ni. Ini terbalik lah sebenarnya kalau yang ikut yang betul dia yang ada texture. So just put it here. Uh, jajak, lupa pula. Ni make sure tampal dulu dekat surface supaya gum dia hilang to make sure that the the glue is not that strong. So, kalau dia strong sangat and then it will ruin your paper. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, now you're done. So, kalau if you want to uh, macam lukis kat atas, you pun boleh. Oh, macam kalau if you're, not, if you're not confident and then you just like macam nak agak kat mana um, where the uh, the heel start and where the heel ends kat sini kan. You can just uh, agak kat situ and then ada kan ada satu pokok kat sini and then you can just paint one pokok dekat sini. I lukis satu pokok supaya you know kat mana nak taruh pokok nanti. Uh, so, just like do a simple ni I, I just I just look at satu just just a light sketch tak perlu that too much detail so that I know kat mana you nak taruh that pokok actually kalau you confident you just look case je this is too extra confident tu ayat dia Okay, so I'll show you know, I have a focus at sini, I rolling hills and then two rolling hills over here. Nak lukis pun tak, tak perlu lukis pun tak apa. Okay, now, uh, we'll do, um, from, oh, sorry, from this one, uh, we start with the sky. Okay, uh, sebab I, I dah kotor sangat sebab tadi termix dengan yang dry, yang I, yang I kotor kejap eh, kita tahu kejap.
So for this one, make sure kalau nak paint sky tu, you need a very clean water. Supaya color dia tak mix with all that colors you did just now. But sky, you need a white fluffy cloud. So you don't want it to be fluffy, murky. Okay, make sure you have clean water. So bila you ni, you can nampak bersih je kan? Okay, now make sure your brush is bersih juga. And then we'll start to do the sky first. Hmm. Like what I thought earlier. I'll be doing uh, yang macam sky macam ni. You can just paint over the trees, tak apa. Make sure it is evenly spread. And we have 15 minutes, okay. We'll redo this in 15 minutes, okay. It's a part, it's a part, it's a part, it's a part. Nampak? Nampak semua kena ada air tau. You can just like tengok. Okay, so once dia dah ada air semua tu, kita ambil this type of blue. I'll take this type of blue. And then just see. Nak buat cair sikit pun tak apa sebab can have the effect of langit yang tak terlalu terang kan. Ini akan ada um, pokok nanti apa uh, rolling hills. So macam tu. Okay, so um, ini my sky lah. It looks like this. Um, can add some more, but I don't want to make the cloud so big. Okay. So um, oh my tissue paper, tissue boleh lah. Pakai tissue sikit, bagi dia bersih sikit. You can also do it your own now. Sambil-sambil kita buat sama kita buat sama-sama lah. Okay. Macam tu it will be like a big sky. Okay, so done with part sini done biar macam ni je. Okay, so the next part is the um bahagian bawah sini. Bahagian bawah sini konsep dia sama juga macam kita buat sky but imagine green. Without the clouds. <laughs> um, first kita pasangkan brush. Make sure it is clean juga. Okay, clean. So the color should be macam ni. Dia ada hijau sikit. Akan ada macam a bit of this is kalau pasang ada yellow ochre sikit. Ni yang yellow tadi I tunjuk tu. Lepas tu yang color gelap and then ada light sikit. So ada macam tiga gradient of colors. So kita pasangkan dulu. Pasangkan macam kita buat wet on wet. This is good juga macam kalau you nak buat any, um, if you're in architecture and then you want to do some uh, renderings untuk perspective ke, so you can do colour rumput macam ni juga. Okay, bila dah start macam tu, ambil yang brush tadi tu, bersihkan sikit, jangan bagi kotor and then ambil colour yang, first start dengan colour gelap sikit. 
I'll, I'll choose this type of gelap. Then just buat color kat bawah sini. Tak cukup gelap lah. Dekat bawah. And then tambahkan sikit yellow ochre. Tambahkan sikit yellow ochre. And then I'll add some of the, yang ni yang lagi cair sikit. Yang cair light green macam tu. Okay, bawah tu tak gelap sangat kan? So you add more. So you have that macam. Ada color gelap lagi. Just tambahkan sikit. Add on some of the color juga. Mixkan sikit-sikit macam you have Bayangkan kat sini kan ada pokok kan nanti So dia kan gelap sikit kat sini Okay Lepas tu Add a little bit of Yellow ochre and then <gasps> Pandai okay Lock cepat cepat Okay, okay, okay. Safe, 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 safe. Okay. Per, kembali. Come to me. <laughs> safe. So kalau ada terjatuh boleh just cepat-cepat. Uh, luckily kat sini memang tak ada apa-apa. So kalau lap so it should be fine. Okay, continue. <laughs> uh, what's in me? So you have that, um, dah ada gradient colour gelap and then colour, colour macam yellow ochre sikit. Sini. Tambahkan sikit. Okay, macam tu. Hmm. So yang ini takes time suku juga untuk tunggu dia kering lah sebab kalau nak cepat boleh pakai. Boleh pakai. Kalau sini terkena tak apa sebab nanti kita akan buat akan buat rolling hills kan kat tepi ni. So biar kering macam tu. Okay, so you have macam ada sikit-sikit. Um, color variety there. Okay, bagi dia kering, nak tunggu dia kering pun take time. So uh, kita buat part sini pula yang ada rolling hills tu. Rolling hills tu I usually like to make some of the blue dengan hijau. So sini kita, kita tak pakai warna biru. So kita make, I will make some biru. So nampak macam cool tone sikit. Sikit what I mean. So macam Tambahkan is one hills over here and one hills over here. Macam tu. Okay. Hmm. So kalau macam tu. Okay, uh, sekarang biar je. Yang tu dah settle bagian bawah. So we'll do some uh, dekat uh, kita, sebab sini dah kering, so we can start do the trees Macam I, I already taught you just now You can choose any type of trees you want Yang buat autumn boleh, color yang color kuning tadi Or you can just choose yang warna hijau gelap Eh hijau yang I just thought, I just ajar tadi Pilih-pilih mana-mana pokok yang you nak buat Tengok some reference dekat Pinterest or dekat apa? Uh, Google Oops, start dengan color cahaya dulu so, so sebab ni kecil, should be faster lah. Okay, start macam ni. Okay, now I've done the base layer. Remember you have layers for trees, okay? First layer, kita buat color cahaya like I taught you just now. And then I add some of the yellowish ochre. Dia nampak ada like sun lit trees over here. Okay, 
key and then I'll add some darker tones. Kecil should be easier. If you're not confident to do big ones first, we can start small first lah. Start small. Sambil-sambil kita nak tunggu kering kat bawah ni. Once dah kering, baru kita can work on something. Untuk tambahkan some details. Ni kita just case. Okay. Tak apa pun lama nak kering. So okay sekarang ni kita ni yang bahagian sini kita banyakkan ada ada apa? Ada shadow matahari kat sini kan? Matahari kat sini. So kita just add some. Some yang yang green this one. Yang ni yang tak ada dua ni lah. And then just like tambahkan sikit. Ini masih basah lagi so you have that um, bleeding effect. Jangan color macam tu je. Titik-titik sikit-sikit. You need to be more delicate. Imagine where the imagine where the uh, lights hit and then imagine where the shadow will fall on the um, grass here. So bila grass, uh, ini bukan jangan lukis macam bentuk pokok pula dekat sini sebab yang ini nampak a bit dari jauh tak nampak siapa kot kan ha, nampak macam ni shadow nampak shadow just a simple one like that ni bawah-bawah sikit lah sini ok so uh, lalang kita nak tunggu ni kita boleh tambah-tambahkan sikit um, lalang-lalang ke since kita use the same hijau tu so dekat camera tak nampak tapi you can make it like what I thought earlier macam nak buat rumput tu just like see tadi <laughs> Oh, tambah sikit. Uh, ni, okay. You can also add some. Some macam kecil-kecil je. Just a small, small, small. Small, small grass. So you have that effect. Kita tahu, oh, situ memang ada rumput. Ha, macam tu. Kita tak perlu buat semua lukis rumput. We just want to have that idea. Situ ada rumput. Macam tu. Okay, so maksudnya dekat sini dah kering. Part here dah kering kan? Dah start kering sikit. So we can add um, three branches pula. Three trunks. Okay. Take some of your brown. Macam ni. Make sure tangan tak kotor. Let's, um, Bila you lukis tu, tangan tu jangan um, try to make it uh, macam tangan lembut sikit. So bila lukis tu jangan terlalu kaku. So you have that. Add on some. Okay, so you have that trees kat situ. So simple trees. Okay, so if you want to make it more darker, also can. Sebab sekarang ni tak nampak gelap. Can take some of the darker color. Then just add some kat sini. Tepi sini. Okay, macam tu. Okay, so you have that effect. Uh, so now bagi bagian sini macam dah kering sikit kan, you can add some some rumput-rumput sikit that warna branch tadi tu just nak bagi nampak macam ada contrast sikit. Pakai warna tadi tak apa, pakai warna yang branch, tree branch dia tu. Just nak ada that idea tu. Buat macam rumput-rumput 
You know kan macam nak buat rumput tadi I just taught you just now Macam sikit-sikit macam tu je Sikit-sikit je Macam tu 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 Like a small hairline nampak tak Kecil-kecil je Tak nampak dekat camera kat sini So it's actually macam tu I buat Okay so kat tambahkan sikit kat sini So now you have done uh, yang buat sini so tambah pokok ni tak detail lagi so we can add some details to that pokok and we'll almost done. Okay sikit je lagi. Siap dah. Almost done. Okay put some detail to that pokok. Okay, tambahkan bit of green. Ni I ambil not really green lah. More like brownish green macam tu supaya dia gelap sikit. Okay. So bila you dah rasa puas hati macam oh dah okey lah siap lah macam tu kan So now macam kalau rasa tak puas hati kita tambah sikit buat sikit Okay dah 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 siap macam ni kan um, Okay so now we can open uh, Open the masking tape and we'll see how it has So this is actually a good practice for you to practice nak buat poko and your skies sebab it's, it's actually quite simple and fast you can even see it's already 11.30 I did this in around 20 minutes so I think you can also sebab yang buat lambat tu kadang kita nak tunggu dia cat dia kering apa semua kan so you have one nice landscape this is simple landscape ah uh, so it's not Then you're done. So I hope you can do like this too. Tunggu dia clean sekejap. Uh, tunggu dia clean sikit. Uh, lepas tu nanti you can also mana tadi? Contoh satu lagi. Uh, uh, you can do it like this. Bila you dah siap kes dah, dah, dah tahu nak buat pokok you can do a simple elevation macam ni juga kalau you nak buat because I like this setting atau yang macam ni ni pun simple just simple um, landscape painting okay so I hope you enjoy this uh, watercolor tutorial just finish it on time 11.30 <laughs> and I really hope uh, you can do this practice at home uh, macam tengah PKP kan sekarang so I think uh, if you have the free time you can actually do this uh, on your own or with your partner or with your kids as well but it is actually quite simple so I hope you enjoy today um, happy weekend and stay safe okay so I'm done thank you so much for watching <laughs> uh, I'll pass this to the MC who conduct this uh, webinar thank you You're welcome. Money can. Thanks, teacher. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mrs. Farah, for all the amazing knowledge given. May it be helpful for all of us in the future. Um, also, we have given a link uh, to our Padlet where you can upload your artwork that you've done just now and we'll be giving a few minutes for you and then we'll be looking at your artwork. So, uh, you can go to the Padlet and then upload your artwork. I hope I can see some of the artwork. <laughs> You can also screenshot um nampak ke? so you can know what how to practice.
Semuanya sangat disesuaikan. If you want to see some of the example and orang, if you want to refer, if you want to screenshot, also can. Um, sekali tak nampak. Okay. Jelly, what's up? Okay, uh, we'll be waiting for a few more minutes uh, before we take a look on the artworks. Okay.
Uh, can you see that, Rick? Okay, so we'll be looking at the artworks that some of the participants have posted. And inshallah, Mrs. Farrell will be commenting on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's take a look at the first one. Okay. Okay, it's a good practice. Yeah, and now, okay. Ah, okay, this is nice. Uh, later you can uh, make it more bigger so you have a uh, clearer macam mana nak lukis that uh, clouds especially if you have a small surface and then you won't have the chance to really practice in a bigger scale lah. but it, it is a good start it is a good start your choice is actually almost there already the way you mix the color is almost there you can add more details later also for the next one so next one. I got a download. Ah, no. Ah. Okay, yang itu dalam Ah, uh, so yang ini, okay. Um, I can see. Ah, uh, where because maybe you can practice more on the gradients of the color. Uh, and also the the sky maybe after this maybe you can try to make it more uh much um the blue the blue a bit on the below part but the the upper the punya composition is uh is good composition okay so maybe you can try to make the uh the clouds should be um the blue of the sky should be all around dekat bagian bawah pun a bit uh blue sikit supaya you, you don't see that just a white area dekat below there so you can nampak ada bagian blue dia juga uh, lepas tu, and then uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, if you see that uh, dekat below that trees there, you can see the color blotch there is because you add too much water to it. That's why you have that blotch color there. Uh, kalau you suddenly nampak ada macam terlalu nampak banyak sangat air, you can just dab it with your tissue paper. Okay. Tapi it's a good start. I, I like the trees. The trees is uh, dah, dah okay. Dia punya the trees tu, dia punya daun-daun tu. So the next one. Alright. Ah, can okay. you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be nice. Nice juga. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, ini nampak, nampak. Okay. So, uh, kalau you see um, the punya trees, if you want to make it yang bagian, yang color autumn trees too, it's nice. Uh, so, uh, I think it's nice lah semua. Yang warna hijau tu, maybe later you can try to make it uh, other variety of color. The yang the left one, the trees on the left one, and the green one. So, you can make it, uh, right now I see uh, like a same tone of color. Next one, you can make it more like a variety of color like you did, uh, like you did the autumn tree. Yang lain semua cantik. Okay, next one. All right. Ah, oh, cantik. Eh, nice lah. Okay, okay, this one is nice. Maybe uh, yang bagian gradient tu boleh practice lagi. Even I myself always practice the gradient. Sometimes tak jadi, sometimes jadi juga. So you can uh, practice more. This is from who? Okay, ni cantik. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Good job. Okay. Uh, this one, okay, this one is also nice. Maybe uh, you, yang bagian, bagian, oh, you add like a tree, ada tiga, ada tiga hills kat situ kan. Boleh juga buat macam tu, cantik juga. So, macam kalau you wear uh, like a, a shadow of the tree tu, maybe tak semestinya boleh bentuk, tak semestinya kita buat sama bentuk dengan pokok lah sebenarnya. But also can. So, bila you buat tu, you just like, 
nampak macam ada eh, shadow saja tak perlu buat bentuk pokok pun tak apa so and then the um, yang bahagian part bawah pokok the rumput bawah tu the hills bawah tu maybe later you can add some of the details juga actually this one you can also add on some layers as well uh, it can be more it can a painting can be unfinished whenever so you can tambah lagi layers juga you can tambah lagi macam a bit of variety of colors dekat bagian uh, hills kat situ kan bagi nampak color gelap sikit ada color uh, yellowish part sikit okay you can uh, you can uh, apa improve more lagi lah yang ni next one Wow, tebak. Ini nak pandai lukis kot. <laughs> Ini cantik. <laughs> Ini nak pandai lukis lah. Tak enjoy lah. <laughs> Ini cantik. Ini tak ada komen. Ini memang cantik. <laughs> Yelah, the, you you pandai buat. Uh, you, uh, I, I, I don't know this from who. So you can, you manage to do the, the apa, the uh, the grounds, the the grass much more nicer than mine actually. Uh, lepas tu, and then your trees also nice. Uh, maybe, uh, apa, Nah, I think nice. Tapi rokok melayu lah, cheese semua okay dah. Dia punya sky pun okay. Uh, background pun semua cantik. Okay, nice. Next, next. Wow, cantik. Ini terus cantik. Ini, ini I tak perlu komen dah. This is nice. This is actually very nice. Ah, huh. okay. Cantik, cantik. Ini tadi tengok ada pada siapa eh. Okay. This from the students right. Hmm. Nice lah. Hmm. Next. Ha, okay this one is also nice. Um, I think the your your trees punya uh, composition tu okay. Maybe you can add more macam uh, branches out. The branches can be uh, spread out a bit so dah lagi nampak tak terlalu tinggus but actually ada je pokok macam tu sebenarnya but it's okay fine lah lepas tu yang hijau tu maybe you can add more uh, macam darker colour yang hijau that green tu you can mix a little bit more to that yellow ochre punya colour and uh, you can mix yang macam yang hijau yang bagian gelap tu you can mix dengan colour yellow dengan yang colour brown juga supaya that have you have that uh, macam colour natural The leaf punya colour tu Sebab kalau yang Actually yang ni boleh juga Macam dia ada studio Ghibli punya type of colour kan Macam fresh colour juga It's up, your, it's, it's up to your preference lah uh, But you can improve more on that juga Kalau if you want Okay but the other is nice Yang autumn tree tu cantik juga colour dia I like the colour Okay the next one Hmm Okay Okay uh, Okay, ah, uh, so this one maybe you can ah uh, practice more on the um for right now I can see that yang left tu is the contrast in ah uh, color contrast in color. Now it's like you only done the first layer but you haven't finished the uh, the second or the third layer. So you can you can tambah lagi color so you can make it more darker tones with and then. Even, okay, yang itu lah, you can just add on. Lepas tu nanti your branches tu, you can make it more, uh, instead of you make it like a straight line, you try to make it like a bit curvy sikit, or bukan curve, just saying it sikit, because why you don't have that. Macam pakai lidi kan, nampak macam pakai lidi, but you have, uh, yang, 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 yang first one lah, yang lain semua okay, yang that tree yang on the left one tu, you can betulkan sikit dia punya uh, branches tu. But the color, the base layer is there, you can add more color, so you have that contrast. Okay. But it's a good start. It's, it's a good start. Next one. Thank you. Next. <laughs> okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. Right. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, uh, uh, yang ini. Okay, you uh, you can improve more. Uh, tapi yang ni kan, sebenarnya kan dia punya ada ada character tau. Ada certain uh, uh, 
suka artis suka buat macam simple one like this but it's actually nice your, your punya uh, grass tu yang bagian pokok yang bagian bawah tu dia punya uh, mixture color is almost there and your your sky I maybe it's too small I can't really see but I I, I can't see the clouds there maybe you I think you pakai uh, tissue paper kan so If you want to make it more clearer, next time you can um, tambahkan sikit color of the blue too so that you have that contrast of the bila you taruh tissue paper tu, you have that contrast bagi nampak biru dengan putih. So now, I, right now, I can't really see the the sky. Maybe it's about screen ke apa, but, but, <coughs> but it's a, it is a good uh, painting as well. Okay, so you can just improve more from this. Next one. All right. Bawa banyak ada lagi Oh okay lepas tu uh, Yang ini Okay yang ini uh, Your your punya tree composition is perfect dah Tree composition perfect Dia punya daun-daun tu pun dah cantik uh, Maybe you can improve more on the uh, Tree branches tu Bagi nampak colour dia more natural Right now I see more of the reddish punya uh, batang So you can make it more brownish more Tapi dia punya Your punya tree tu dah cantik Dia punya daun-daun tu cantik Okay next one Wow. Ooh, okay, nice. Oh, I I I can imagine semua orang buat yang sama. Kan kurang buat yang last part je. But it's a good um it's a, it's a fun experience lah. So, macam now um okay, you eh, yang first yang yang first tree tu I see on the left one is a, is a very good uh composition. Maybe um I think it is mainly because of the brushes is it too big maybe you can try to make it a small uh, pakai small sikit brush uh, sebab yang ini ini boleh ini kalau if this your first time uh, if this your first punya painting the later later you can improve more lah sebab yang ini almost there yang bagian yang tree yang bagian yang kiri tu dah cantik dah yang kanan tu maybe yang maybe you buat dengan anak you ke apa ha but it, it looks nice lah Maybe you can, uh, you can, apa, it boleh improve more on the painting for the landscape. Landscape boleh improve lagi, oh, nampak kat sini. Hmm, boleh detail up a bit lah, just more, add more details. Okay, next one. Okay, start ke? Oh, this one is so nice. Isn't it? This, this one is nice. Your your apa your grass sudah jadi. Even your trees, your trees can uh, maybe boleh uh, boleh explore more on the branches. But uh, it is there. The trees, uh, the leaves is, is there. <coughs> the sky is uh, the sky cantik juga. The sky pun cantik. Just nice. Dia punya um tree. Dia punya clouds tu subtle, but yet yet subtle. Tapi nampak. Nice. Okay, next one. Oh, honey pun cantik. Oh my god, this is nice. Okay, for the, macam maybe for the, yang macam untuk tissue paper yang bagian kanan tu, yang bagian bawah tu, maybe you can make it a much more bigger punya version of clouds. Right now, macam nampak dia kecil-kecil sikit kan? If you, macam yang bagian atas kanan tu, kanan yang atas tu dah cantik. Yang bagian bawah kiri tu, maybe you can besarkan sikit dia punya um, apa uh, clouds tu. Next one. Alright, I think that was the last That's one. Right. Okay. Right. So. It's done. Alright, yeah. since. Since there's no more questions, mm -hmm. uh, I think that will be the end for this session. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Farah, and also Not everyone sure. attending this um, morning's event. Um, we hope to see more from you, inshallah. In the thank you, inshallah. Um, inshallah. Well, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, well.
Oh yes. Um, before that, uh, we would like to take a picture with you. Ah, oh, sure, sure. This. All right. So can 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 everyone in this Zoom meeting um turn on your camera, please? Right. All right, um, so one, two, three. Yes. Right. Okay, I think, I think, wait, let me check. Oh, dia tak muncul muka oh, ai. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, it's okay. Okay, uh, I think uh, I'll be sharing the screenshot after this. So, okay. thank you, everyone, and thank you, Mrs. Farah as well. So, yeah. I hope you all benefit from this event. Uh, yeah. So, we'll be ending this. Uh program with that's basically for answer and thank you everyone for joining thank you thank you miss you're welcome thank, thank you. you me you're welcome thank you so much thank you miss para thank you miss yeah. para see you're you again welcome. yeah have a nice day have a nice day to you too thank you, Thank you, Farah. Yeah, eh, Dila. <laughs> You're welcome.